welcome back to my channel guys it's day two of our seaside oregon trip um what you see here is the local aquarium we didn't go in because it just didn't seem enticing to us all we really wanted to do was kind of just walk around take roscoe along to see the sights and head over to seaside beach which we're doing here um it wasn't too crowded which was great uh the sand was nice and um clean or as clean as sand can be because we get the rocky beaches in washington state this was about a five minutes walk from where we were staying hey we're here at seaside beach it's a nice day today surprisingly it was supposed to rain I think. I think the reason why the kids loved coming to Seaside so much when they were younger was because the beaches, they're so wide and expansive and they could pretty much do whatever they want as far as playing, you know, building sandcastles, um, going to swim in the water if it wasn't too cold and, you know, flying their kites everything was pretty much just there you know and they can take in the sights look at those really awesome cloud formations all right you guys we are on our way to cannon beach it's about 15 minutes away from seaside um this is the famous landmark if you've watched the goonies um and when that big ship comes out of that big rock that's exactly where it is so i'll be taking some footage there and follow along with us closer so we can get some good photo ops but here is Cannon Beach it's a little bit more spread out I feel like than seaside um, just a tad and there's more like rock formations and um, it's a more picturesque resort sea town as well uh, the architecture here is really nice and coastal and just looks a little bit more contemporary. We set up this little canopy for Roscoe so he's protected by the elements. He's kind of afraid to touch the sand though. Um, I think this is all new territory for him. So yeah, check out his view. your money on the backseat don't give us that paparazzi baby you know they're always trying to get me a million dollars at the night i can make it rain on you i can make your dreams come true but let me get this straight don't ever need no man to tell me what to do know what I see? I see some rolling hills and this guy is gonna roll. Ashton, you ready for this? <laughs> you gotta go sideways. <laughs> <laughs> no, you gotta 
try to go like horizontal. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, hold on. Okay, ready? Horizontal. Like, just lay. Do a clean roll. Okay. Ready? Go. We're gonna do a little sightseeing in this little resort town of Seaside. It's just a little little area of um, shops and restaurants. It smells like weed. Okay, anyway, taking you guys along with us. Heading into um, the town of Seaside, it literally took us less than five minutes to cross over. Um, from our place to this little town here and basically it's just a bunch of shops and um, restaurants all kind of clustered together on one long strip leading from the main road to the beach here is um, the kids are walking next to Finn's it's a nice um, like seafood restaurant. Uh, they serve steak there too, but it was really good. We had that for dinner the night before. I didn't vlog, but um, here's the Seaside Carousel Mall, a really popular place amongst the kids. Uh, we're heading toward this breakfast area that we usually go to, Pigs and Pancake. I think they're only found in um, Oregon, but um, yeah, it took us, it didn't take too long to get seated. I think it was about, like a 15 to 20 minute wait so during that time we just kind of walked around most of the stores i don't think they were open quite yet oh and you could see that there's a bunch of um christmas shops around as well so i don't know if it's year round or they're just getting ready for the season but my daughter and i decided to go in here we haven't been in here in this um the seaside carousel mall in ages so as you see here there's a lot of souvenir shops and then going in you'll see the big carousel my daughter didn't want to ride it she thought she was a little too old for it but i don't think you can ever be too old to ride these things so yeah it's pretty much all contained um it's kind of nice though because it doesn't get rusted from all the outside elements and now here we are seated at pigs and pancake um it's basically like a denny's or a sherry's um, i'm not sure what kind of breakfast places you have at your um, in your area but um you know the prices were reasonable and lots to choose from uh, the kids used to love eating in here because there was like a little shop in there that you can get little toys and souvenirs um so here are our breakfasts you know just kind of your standard pancakes bacon eggs um i got the razor clams and then oh my gosh what happened so i had orange juice and it was the pulp kind i accidentally spilled that all over myself so it basically looked like i threw up Freak. 